Hello everyone, it is Al Smith, the Gas Man, uh, here with another bonus edition of Regalia Therapy. Uh, had a few uh, inquiries about this idea of the nautical privilege. Uh, it's, a, it's a way to make peace and to move the order forward. Uh, again, it's one of these things I said in one of my videos, uh, it's okay to make mistakes. And, and we have to realize that sometimes we do make an error in judgment, uh, maybe not think things through as much as we should. And uh, again, I'm guilty of that too. We're all guilty of, uh, you know, maybe not thinking things through enough and making decisions that uh, we regret later. And uh, again, people have been asking me to say, you know, you seem to be a peacemaker. You're, you're trying to bridge uh, these two uh, visions together as best you can. And uh, I said, yeah, that's what God's called us to. You read the scriptures, uh, there's all kinds of suggestions uh, of how to live your life and how to make peace. And so uh, uh, this, this idea of the nautical privilege, it's pretty simple. Um, you've got hundreds of thousands of volunteers who uh, have, um, you know, I, I want to say bought into the program. <laughs> I always say I bought into the program uh, years ago, uh, this, this beautiful tradition uh, and this vision. Uh, it's the patriotic, the patriotic degree. And, uh, you know, when people say patriotism, they go, oh, you love Canada, right? You know, my American friends, you love the USA. Yeah, we love our countries, but we love what our true home is, which is heaven. Okay, I'm a true patriot in that I am talking about my true home, heaven, all the time. And we're citizens. Uh, by our birthright, we inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, we're baptized. You're in, baby. <laughs> You're in. <laughs> now, you can lose your inheritance uh, through sin, uh, but your true home is in heaven. So a true patriot talks about his homeland being heaven. So I want to keep pointing people. I want to preach patriotism which is preaching our homeland, which is heaven. Uh, anyway, so uh, we're part of the patriotic degree of the Knights of Columbus. And uh, to have, you know, uh, hundreds of thousands of men um, retired, I always say retired, uh, because they're saying we, we think we want to move away from that vision and move to a different vision. And we're sitting at home going, oh, this vision, is pretty good and uh, it brings so much joy to uh, uh, to the community but also uh, a great reverence uh, again that when you see those capes at mass there's something mm, it's good it's good um, so this nautical privilege is a simple uh, uh, proposal that just says you know what we we erred we made an error, <laughs> not a mistake. We, 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 we miscalculated. I like to use that. I try to say we miscalculated uh, what the effects would be. And uh, we like to move forward. And, um, you know, I say, um, you know, I don't want to say reinstate the regalia. Um, I think sometimes that might uh, confuse people. But uh, we allow Sir Knights who... Uh, have um, you know sacrificed dearly uh, and believe dearly in this uh, program and uh, to allow them to just uh, continue their journey to their years of service um, very similar my dad of course is a war vet and uh, you know it's one of those things where at one time he was one of 10,000 war vets and then one of 7,000 vets then one of 2,000 vets and Slowly, his ranks were retired. Uh, those men who served in World War II, uh, very few survivors now uh, of that. My father's passed away. Uh, but again, it's a way to say to those men who uh, wear the regalia, to say, we want you to journey as you would any good soldier and be given the dignity and the right, the privilege to wear this uniform. So it's a privilege. And um, again, it's a great way to, uh, again, I say coexist, uh, but easy to uh, implement. Again, it's just a declaration that 
the men who own the regalia are part of, uh, have the nautical privilege. Uh, the new uniform is still uh, presented as the uniform of the order. Uh, you know, new people or new members that come in would, of course, uh, be asked to embrace the new look. Uh, but those who have, uh, again, have been there from the beginning, I always say, if you have, if you have nautical style of regalia, you've been around, okay? <laughs> You're not the new kid on the block. The new kid is on the blocks. Uh, the new kid on the block are wearing the new uniform. Uh, the, the old boys, I don't know. The old boys, this is uh, what we signed up for. Uh, so again, it's just a simple thing. Uh, supply is supply. Um, let the men, um, you know, uh, move along. Uh, you know, retire in their regalia, retire. Uh, the two armies side by side, beautiful pictures. I, I've seen so many beautiful pictures over the last two years, the old and the new. Uh, these two armies, these two regiments can march together and uh, again, arm in arm, um, you know, and that's, that's the idea. We're a volunteer organization, okay? <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with uh, presenting the old mm -hmm. and the new. And uh, it's a simple solution. Uh, it uh, provides an, uh, uh, um, I want to say, a peace treaty. That's, I don't know if you want to call it peace treaty, but it, it, it basically appreciates uh, the men who have gone before us and who have sacrificed and made the Knights of Columbus what they are. Remember, uh, 80 years of wearing regalia has made an impact on the community. You ask people, well, who are the Knights of Columbus? Oh, they're those guys in the capes. They're the guys with the capes. Yeah. They're not, you know, <laughs> they never say, oh, those are the guys with that new uh, spiffy looking uniform. No, it's the, it's the guys with the capes. And uh, again, it's a signature look that uh, is loved by the world. The world loves it. And uh, give them what they love. You know, they always say, give them what they love. And so the nautical privilege is just my way of saying uh, we can coexist and re-engage re those men who have been sidelined, uh, who just want to do what they love. So uh, again, I only have so much time in these videos, keep it short, you know, but I think there's something to be said about uh, the coexistence of the two armies and uh, the nautical privilege. So. Anyway, my two cents, although in Canada, we don't have pennies anymore, so I can't give you my two cents. I'm going to give you my nickel, okay, and, uh, but it's there. Well, we'll continue this conversation, um, but again, we need help. We need divine help. Again, our true home is in heaven. Sir Knights, we represent the patriotic arm of the order, and patriotism is our country, but also our true home, which is heaven. So let's keep talking about heaven. Uh, and I want to get there, and so do you. So we need help. And so the intercession of Venerable Michael J. McGivney, may he inspire you to get to heaven and be good boys, good men. <laughs> My mom, you'd be a good boy. Um, be good men. And uh, may Almighty God bless us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Love you, men. I'll see you next time on Regalia Therapy with your host, Al Smith, the Gas Man.